I am filming. That's okay. So, we're working on proportions in clays. Emily, am I on screen? No. <laughs> it's hard for me to do it this way, but we'll, I'll start it on Your this head's side. still cut off. Uh, that's heightism. Okay. So, with percent word problems, we have uh, questions that look like this. What percent of 126 is 22? Our setup, the way we set up all these problems is is over of equals percentage over 100. After we get the information into our setup or our equation, then we'll go over how to cross multiply. But I'll come over here, um, and now you can see my hand, right, Emma? Okay. So in this problem right here, we have two numbers. What are the two numbers, Ava? Mm -hmm. In yeah. the problem. Okay. So the 126. And? The 22. And the 22. If you had to pick, uh, Kate, which number goes with is and which number goes with of? Um, of is 126 and is 22. I agree. So 126 on the bottom is 22 on the top. And that equals some percentage over 100. Now, the way we can figure out when there's one fraction on one side and another fraction on the other, the way we can solve for the variable is by cross multiplication. So if we come over here, still on screen now? Yeah. Okay, so cross multiplication here, we have 22 over 126 equals x over 100. Can, uh, Allie, can you make sure you have a calculator up so you can check my math? Okay, so to cross multiply, these are the steps. Top left times bottom right, 22 times 100 equals bottom left times top right equals 126x. Everybody see what's happening so far? Okay. From here, any ideas what we should do next? Go ahead, Em. Would you... Multiply like twenty or yeah, one twenty-six by x, so that would. Oh, would okay. So not yet, but we can play with this side. What multiplication should we do on this side? Twenty-two times one hundred. Which is twenty-two hundred. Equals one twenty-six x. This statement right here says something times one twenty-six equals twenty-two hundred. How do you think we get rid of this one twenty-six? Go ahead. Em. Do you divide it? We divide by 126. And then if we do it to one side, we need to do it to both sides. And then, Allie, I'm going to ask for your help. What's 2200 divided by 126? Divided by 126? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 17.46031746063. Let's call it 17.46 for today. Okay. And what's the one thing we're missing from the answer? I'll give you a hint. Percentage. Okay, so we need to say 17.46%. And then with these problems, always think about your answer in terms of the question. So is 17.46% of 126 22? Does that make sense? No. Absolutely. Questions? Wait, so did you just divide 22 by 126? Yes, ma'am. Really? And that's what this fraction setup means. Okay. Fractions are always divided as well. Okay, so this is for the first one. You're going to have problems where they give you a percentage and not one of the is's or of's. All the process is the same. The setup's a little, little bit different. Okay.